Hello everyone, this is Kyle from CSJ Props. I want to do a quick video tutorial for anyone that potentially comes across an issue getting the Tri-Cree lens to fit properly on the Any Cree RGB LED from Nigon's Electronic Creations. Because of the tolerance in some of the parts used to build these, uh, with the size of the diode, the height of the diode, uh, slight variances in casting of the lenses, you know, uh, the slightest uh, offset of the diode to one side or the other, or any of the other components that can occasionally cause you a very tiny issue, there's a really quick and easy fix if you're having a problem with it. Okay, and I will show you how to do it so that it'll save you guys a lot of headache in case you find that you got one that just doesn't quite want to sit as flush as it should. First off, Take your lens and mark one of the legs of the lens with a sharpie. This will help you to identify the lens, that particular leg, easier later on because, well, they're all clear and they all look exactly the same. Secondly, the problem that we run into, or that I ran into with, uh, with one of mine, is that when you go to put the lens on, the diode itself hits the edge of the leg, just a bit, at least on this particular one. So what happens is when you push it down, because the leg is tapered, obviously the further down the leg goes, the more it rubs on the diode, and it has a harder time fitting into the slots. So the really quick and easy solution to that, you could either take a file to it and just file the inside of the leg a little bit, but then I worry about damaging the edges of the other lenses here. And I don't want you getting anything inside the lenses, anything like that, that's going to cause you a little bit of light loss or anything. So all I do is take a hobby knife with a nice sharp blade. Now, guys, be careful. Okay, standard disclaimer. Don't cut yourself with a knife. Be very careful doing this. It is very sharp. It could hurt you very easily. When you do it, I take it and I set the edge of the blade actually right on the little lip you can feel on the edge of all these legs they're indented so that it can fit down inside of the LED star if you square off your lens your lens is this way and put the blade just against the edge of that lip you can shave down the inside of the leg a little bit just removing a little bit of material from it be very gentle be very slow you don't want to crack the leg of the lens. You just want to clean off a little bit of that plastic. Okay? This way, you're not fighting to fit a file down inside of that space. And you're not getting little tiny shavings or, or dust or anything else getting inside the lenses. So, you just cut that off. Again, be careful doing this. There, get rid of that piece. So that's now out of the way. So now a little bit of the inside of the leg has been shaved off and it should fit in there very nicely. Now, when I marked this leg to keep track of which one was which, the reason I do it with a black Sharpie too is because, well, I'm OCD. And the black leg fits next to the black diode and now it fits perfectly. No issues. It sits snug on the lens. It's actually got a little bit of little bit of movement, like you'll find in the same LEDs you get from Justin at Sabre Bay or from TCSS. It's now a perfect fit. It actually fits nicely over top of each of the domes of the lenses, or each of the domes of the LEDs rather. And it's fitting now exactly the way it should. So now when you put it in your Sabre, you're gonna get a perfectly lined up lens and perfect light transmission like it was intended. All right, hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. I'll see you around.